When I said, I said, Dad, I gotta go look at a property. He said, take your brother, take Matt, take the van. I said, what? Let's go. Today, while my dad is going to look at yachts and going to find a boat and flying to Fort Lauderdale, we came out here to this undisclosed location to find some real estate. The market's tough, it's freaking hard, I ain't got nothing to buy right now, apartment complexes are overpriced, so I'm out here trying to see if we can turn garbage to gold like my dad used to. Sneaking into this property, because that's exactly where we're going. Oh, this one? Did you get a hotel room? Did you book a room? You gotta go rent a room. Don't go to the front desk and book a room. I know, that's why I didn't overdress. Are you matching me? No. The I cheapest friggin' hotel in all of Lakeland, and you're wearing a Burberry shirt? Oh yeah, they're gonna look at you and be like, uh, I wanna rent a room here, Mr. Burberry and Louis Vuitton shoes. They're gonna say- First of all, I'm traveling right now. I don't know. <laughs> I like traveling. it. They're traveling. People right. come to view properties. Millionaires. We're not looking at the property. We're, We're hidden. Shirts. We're they hidden. You be yourself. Three of these a... for thirty-five dollars. Oh, I love this it. This is South Florida. This is Central Florida. <laughs> Yeah, I like the location. You said that we're gonna see if the location's good. The great, product, but from what I've seen sell, stuff is selling in this area for good money. Even the condos are going for like 80 a door, 60 a door for condos. Apartments in general, right now, no matter where they're at, are selling for 60, 70, 70 a door if they're bringing, if they're occupied and they're bringing in six, seven, eight hundred dollars a month in rent. No matter where they're at, in rural areas, in, in any, in, that's what I'm saying. Anywhere in Florida, they're selling for that, basically. Even in rural areas, tax credit well, stuff. Tampa, you can't no, in sell. Tampa, you're gonna pay 80, 90 a door. Now in Lakeland, for a nice place, you're gonna pay good money because Lakeland's a nice area, and if it's got a nice apartment comp, like Griffin Park, the place we sold, that thing just hit the market again. They want a hundred a door, a hundred a door. They want for it. And we sold it for probably 57, you know? And we did a lot of work to that place. But it's just, that's the area, that's the way it is right now. So anyway, we can take two rooms. That's the whole thing about this project, taking two rooms and converting them into a one bedroom apartment. We can rent it, I mean, I see rent across the street for 900. On a one bedroom? One bedroom. But then there's one next to it for 700. Well, and uh, I know for a fact that if we can make those things one bedrooms, there's a definite senior population in, in, in the area that would take it immediately. And then there's the service workers in that area too that would just eat those one bedrooms alive. There's close to 300 rooms here. So you get away with that, you can make 125, 130 apartments. Now let's say we don't make 130 apartments, let's say we make some studios keep some of them studios if we can pull that off. So now you keep a wing of studios, right? To get your unit count and take, make some of them two bedrooms. So now you got your two bedrooms, you got your one bedrooms and you got your studios. Now you made it, you got, you can move in a, a person with a wife and a, a husband and a kid, a kid, you know what I mean? Into a two bedroom. We got to look at the actual structure you to know see. For a fact, just being in the apartment complex business, you need to have some two bedrooms I to know. make the property attractive I know. to other buyers even, even if it's not a lot, but. Yeah. It's better to have, it's better to have some two bedrooms because then you get, you know, a, a, a diversity of unit types. That way you're not stuck with all one bedrooms. You can't rent all the one bedrooms up, you know, so then you can rent your twos. You don't want to be stuck with a bunch of one unit type. So that's why right now we have an old hotel that's all the same unit type. So that's not good unless we can diversify it. But I think there's a pool already. There's a big like area for clubhouse or something. You know, you gotta think about where we're gonna put a gym. You know, people want gyms now. Where are you gonna put a pet, pet, pet area? You know, we gotta think about where we're gonna do that. People, are, when you're converting a hotel to an apartment complex, there's a lot of things you gotta think of, you know? And this one is on the water. So now we gotta start dealing with something new, maybe That'd some docks. Nice. Wow. 
let's put it this way. Like it all sounds good. Everything sounds like yeah. it but sounds really see. good. Like we're excited. I'll go on out there. It sounds great. It's on a lake. Good neighborhood. Big unit count. We can convert it. Publix uh, is right. Publix is near it. It's great neighborhood. When we get out there, I have a feeling it's not going to be what we want to see. <laughs> okay. Oh, it looks like I have a feeling it's going to look like that or, or like that or something that we're not going to want to see. Garbage to gold like my dad used to, except for now maybe I'll get some silver. I don't know, who knows? But I brought my brother with me and uh, he's gonna help evaluate. He knows hotels, I know apartments, and uh, together we can knock this whole place out. Maybe we could uh, renovate it. And uh, we got our GC with us, Daniel. He's gonna tell us the construction aspects about it. And, and we're gonna see if we can turn this place from almost 300 rooms to 150 apartments. And that's the goal for today. And because apartments are in demand and hotels are not. So that's the goal right now. You got an apartment on a room here on this side, right? We got a room here on this side, right? Now we take this whole thing and connect it. Look at all that square footage. That could be a two bedroom. So I want to cut out in between and pass through, do a door so to go front door, and then your backyard. front door, back door. This place is already being run like an apartment complex. Look, they got pet stations. This is all the normal stuff that we do at apartment complexes. So this place is already being ran as an apartment complex. It is clean, you're right, it is clean. Garbage cans, that garbage can helps. My maintenance guy would have caught you when you drove in in that damn Mercedes. He would have identified you and said, wait a minute, you do not belong here. What, 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 what do you need? Um, Vincent, you remember how dad used to do you? When he put you through the windows and yeah, shit? They would have lifted me up there. Here, get up there. I'd have told him to go up there. Yep. I'd have lifted him up. If that's the only way in, I would have I'd have lifted him up and threw him up there and he'd have went in. That's what we used to do when we were kids. There's eco-friendly roofing systems. Look at that. We inspect piece by piece. Steel. It's got good bones. You could probably reinforce that. It's got good bones. Listen, I don't know. Th this place is gonna need a lot of work. By the time we're done, we could easily drop 20 a door. We're into it for 20 a door. When we buy it, 20 a door more. That means we're into it for 40. Can we sell it for 60? Because I mean, everything's selling for 60 right now. Yeah. Can we sell it for 60? So you make 20 a door on 150 units. On 100 units is 2 million. So you only make 3 million bucks, roughly. Maybe 3 million bucks. Can you sell it for more than 60? I think we That's what we gotta work the numbers. I don't know. This project is not something that I'm ready to jump on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, I, can't, I can't risk that much money and that much time into something like this without knowing that we have a, a, a market to rent this place to and that's gonna pay top dollar. And what's the competition around here? Because everybody's building new apartment complexes. Everywhere you go, there's a brand new apartment complex popping up. So why invest our time and effort in old shitty one? Maybe we could just find a new one that put a bad loan on it. I don't know, we'll see. Let's go, let's go check that area out. Let's go visit St. Luke's, show you a real building. Yeah. You stay here? Mm -hmm. How much you pay, if you don't mind me asking? My mom actually orders the room for me, so I don't. Oh, okay. I know I pay weekly and they, they charge me 209. 209 a week? That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, appreciate it, man. You're welcome. Good looking. Now this place over here actually might bring the place up a little bit. But we'll see. There's not no high-end stores there. You gotta save a lot. And a Subway and a Chinese food buffet. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's roll.
This is a real building, okay? This is the type of building that we that we normally manage, okay? This is, what are we, 151? 151 now. 151 units, we bought it, it was 150. We found an extra unit, they were hiding it, and we put it online. Anyway, so now it's uh, 151 units, mixes of ones, twos, no threes. Just ones and twos. About a year now we bought this one, and this place runs like a piece of cake. We do nothing here. Nancy and Wendy and the maintenance guy, Pete, they run this place, they do everything, and basically all they do is put the money in the bank, and we pay the bills and whatever's left, we give to my dad. <laughs> I mean, this building was pretty much a good building. It didn't need much work. Um, it just needed really to come in and just keep running it the same way. It was ran by a good management company. So they ran everything perfectly. So you don't really have to do a lot, lot, lot in this place. Just maintain it and, and make sure that you're putting the capital into the place that it needs when, when it's needed. Um, you know, don't neglect it. That's why we're here now also with our contractor to take a look at the building to see if the building needs a paint job. You got to paint these buildings every couple of years, every 10 years, because if so you, you don't, show him water Luke, starts going inside of it and things like that. So you, you got to make sure you got a nice uh, seal on the outside of the building so that there's no water penetration. So we're gonna look at that right now too. You've never had Popeyes? The Polish man has never had Popeyes. Okay, we're gonna go get Popeyes. What about the American one? You gonna go? This is Equity Management's first billboard ever. We have never owned a billboard in our life until this property and this is it. We've made it to the big billboards. This property came with rights to install two billboards. I can put another billboard here. Um, I've taken one down because they didn't want to pay me enough for it, so I took one down. But we're on a major highway in Lakeland. People will pay you to let them advertise on your property if you can build a structure like this. Like we own the land that the billboard's on, I just forgot. Oh, the billboard. We don't even own the billboard, though. but they're paying, we're leasing them this land that the billboard's on. Go speak their language. Go talk to them. I like chicken, but mine's cooked. What, the tails are open? Only chicken I like, only chicken I f with is cooked. All right. Hell no. Nah. Catch him? We're gonna catch him? He does that. Oh, hell no. Nah. He's running up over here. I ain't catching no chicken. What do I look like Rocky Balboa? Hey, you actually pretty quick. I thought you was about to grab him. <laughs> He'll treat us better one day. Anyway, this chicken, building. You got chickens on your property. All right, now you didn't. Oh, I wish your dad was here. Seniors oh, I like wish he was here. Seniors like animals. It you brings put them those peace. Chickens here? Okay, oh. it brings them peace. Okay, they feed them. All right, they don't call. <laughs> wakes don't everybody up. up in the morning. Why do we have roosters at St. Luke's Life Center? Please explain this to me. I charge all them birds rent. How did that turkey, how did he get on the other side? How did he get on the other side of that fence? He crawled under. He crawled through? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he fly up? I didn't know fly. fly. All I know is if I was hungry, I'd catch one of them. Look at this. This is a typical equity uh, remodel. I mean, we put new carpets, we two-tone paint the walls, we uh, put the blinds on, nice ceiling fans, nice fixtures, you know, decent uh, countertops, decent uh, cabinets. This is typically what we do. This particular apartment, what? She's two bedrooms, this is probably rent for seven, maybe eight because uh, it's a tax credit property. So tax credit properties have a rent limit. Um, but this one we didn't have to remodel per se. This one we just come in and make sure it's clean. We come in, we paint, we put new baseboard maybe if it's needed or new molding around the doors because wheelchairs hit them up and things like that. Um, we come in, replace the, the refrigerator or the stove. You know, this remodel is not a, a major remodel. This would be considered a turn. So we just turn the unit. Every time somebody moves out, we turn the unit. We freshen up the paint, freshen up the car, Carpet, freshen up the toilets, make sure everything is either new or has been sanitized and is all clean. 
handicap accessible bathroom. You know, you got grab bars, roll in shower. This has got a lowered countertops right here. So somebody built this place. Um, and now we'll run it and keep it in compliance and uh, profit on the monthly income from it. And that's how we do it. What are we doing here? We didn't do We nothing. came to Lakeland, we saw the property, we saw our property. Little Ben's doing a great job here. The business is running. We're trying to find more properties. Big Ben is in Fort Lauderdale looking up another business venture with some boats or something crazy. And we're here making it work. The chickens, I, I wasn't able to catch a rooster today, unfortunately. But, and, we, um, but we did eat some Popeye's chicken, so that was good and uh, everything turned out well. I mean, St. Luke's is going very well. The biggest problem we have here is that we need a paint job and some erosion. And if that's our biggest problem, we're doing pretty good. Because collections is on point, occupancy is on point, work orders are on point, everything's good on this place. And we're wearing the mask as a senior property, so we want to make sure that we're safe because we're young guys on a senior property, and we don't want to offend the seniors, so we're always wearing our mask. All right, we'll see you guys later, and uh, like, subscribe, um, comment, comment, good comment, you talk know, about Brooklyn Mike, talk about something. my brother and his hair and my hair, whatever you want to say, I don't care. You talk about how much I sweat and I'm overweight. We don't give a sh. We were raised by my father. You can't say anything to insult us. Okay.